In this video, I want to show you how you can graph a straight line by plotting points. So let's start with an equation. Suppose the equation is draw the graph of this equation y is equal to uh, say minus 2x plus 3. So now this is the equation of a straight line. Uh, so how you can do is you can make up a table so let's start with x and then you got y y is let's write the equation which is minus 2x plus 3 and then we are going to, we are going to write the coordinates so c coordinates okay so let's start with any number you can put any value for x okay so let's start with a negative number or negative 1 so what we have to do is, you have to plug in or substitute the value of x in this equation. So x stands for the x coordinate and y stands for the y coordinate. So well, the equation tells me y is negative 2 times x plus 3. So I'll go negative 2 times negative 1 plus 3. Now those who are struggling with a calcul uh, to do integers, you can use a calculator but if you you should be able to do this without a calculator if you want to be smart in maths so this is negative 2 times negative negative times negative is positive so this is 2 plus 3 which is 5 so the coordinate is negative 1 comma 5 so that so let's I'll plot the points later on if you put 0 here so this is negative 2 times 0 plus 3. So when x is 0, when x is 0, this is going to be 0. You'd always do bit math, so this is 0 plus 3 is 3. So the coordinate is 0 comma 3. Let's plot one more. So if you put 1, it's negative 2 times 1 plus 3. So again this is negative 2 and negative 2 plus 1 is 1. So the coordinate is 1 comma 1. So plotting the points. Uh, so this this is negative 1. This is negative 1. So the first is you go across and the second number tells you whether you go up or down. So this is from 0. This is the origin. You go 1 to the left and you go 5 up. So this is this point. So this point just to show you is negative 1 comma 5. The next point is 0 3 so this is this point. So this point is 0 comma 3 and the next point is 1 comma 1 so this is 1 comma 1. So what we're going to do is all one thing that you need to understand is all these points should be on the straight line. Okay, so I'm going to use a line tool. Okay, and if you join them, it's a straight line. So you can use your ruler. You can highlight it. I'm highlighting it and make it straight. So the equation of this line is y. So the equation of this line is y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. Okay. Now if you look at it in a different way, suppose if you want to draw this directly without plotting the points, just by looking at the equation, what you do is, so let me write this again. So this equation is called in the gradient intercept form. So negative 2x plus 3. So this number tells you the y-intercept or where the graph is going to cut the y-axis. So this is where you start and you, if you want to do it directly without plotting the points. You're starting at negative 3. Okay, so that's your starting point. So this is where the graph cuts the y-axis. That's plus 3. And this is called, this number, this negative 2 is called the gradient. Gradient gradient is uh, a word used for steepness so gradients is defined 
as rise over run rise over run so this number negative 2 can also be written as negative 2 divided by 1 so if you take this point if you can if you look at this point I hope you can see you've gone 2 down this is 2 down so this means you go 2 down from the y-intercept and then you go 1 across to get to the next point so from this point if you want to plot the next point you go 2 down and you go 1 across same way can you see from this point if you go 2 down and 1 across you reach this point now if you want to plot the next point it is you have to go 2 down so from 1 you have to come here which is negative 1 and and again from this point if you want to go to plot the next point you go 2 down and 1 across this is this point and then again if you go 2 down 1 across it's not plotted properly but these points would be on the line 